do, man. And the only reason why I ain't busted your ass because you my cousin. And you kill ain't Bootsy. Why you gonna put Aunt Bootsy in this? Luke, I ain't playing, man. You know she got a bad heart, but if I have to, I will bust your ass. Tell me something. Hey there, fellow curious minds. Today I want to share a mind-boggling personal experience I had with a Mandela effect. You know, that mysterious phenomenon where large groups of people collectively remember something that turns out to be entirely different from reality? Well, buckle up, because this particular experience revolves around the popular movie Rush Hour, and it left me questioning my own memories. For those who haven't seen Rush Hour, it's a classic action. Comedy film starring Jackie Chan as Detective Inspector Lee and Chris Tucker as James Carter. The movie follows their hilarious in action. Packed journey as they team up to solve a kidnapping case. Now, let's get into the part that had me scratching my head. In the movie, there's a scene where James Carter, played by Chris Tucker, attempts to gather information from his relative. Here's the strange part. I distinctly remember the relative being portrayed by an entirely different actor. He was older, skinnier, donning purple attire instead of red, and most notably referred to as James Carter's uncle rather than cousin. However, upon revisiting the movie and checking various sources, I was stunned to find that my memory didn't align with the actual scene. The actor remained the same, and the character was, in fact, referred to as James Carter's cousin, not uncle. The clothing he wore was red, not purple. The Mandela effect in action. So what exactly happened here? Was my memory playing tricks on me? Or was this a legitimate case of the Mandela effect? It's possible that my brain filled in the gaps based on cultural influences or the similarities to other characters in different movies. Whatever the reason, it made me question the reliability of my own memories. Discussion and Theories this experience raises intriguing questions about the nature of memory and how it can be influenced by external factors. The Mandela effect has been linked to cognitive biases, shared misinformation, and the power of suggestions, all of which could contribute to our collective false memories. Moreover, some enthusiasts propose more far-fetched theories such as parallel dimensions or time travel. Could this seemingly small discrepancy be a glimpse into a different reality where the movie scene played out differently? The Mandela Effect is a captivating phenomenon that has sparked widespread curiosity and intrigue. Named after the curious case of Nelson Mandela, whose death was believed by many to have occurred years earlier than the actual date, this phenomenon refers to the collective false memories that large groups of people share. These memories often involve well-known events, names, phrases, or pop culture references, leaving us questioning the reliability of our own recollections. Let's delve into the intriguing world of the Mandela Effect and explore some of its most famous examples. Understanding the Mandela Effect At first glance, the Mandela Effect may appear to be a simple matter of misremembering. However, what makes it truly fascinating is that these shared false memories are held by numerous individuals, even if they have no direct connection with each other. The phenomenon suggests that memory is not as concrete and infallible as we may believe. Examples of the Mandela Effect one of the most renowned examples of the Mandela Effect is the Berenstain Bears book series. Many people distinctly remember the name being spelled as Berenstain Bears during their childhood, only to discover that it has always been Berenstain. Similarly, some individuals recall a famous quote from the movie Star Wars. Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back is Luke, I am your father, when in reality, the line is, No, I am your father. The Mandela Effect continues to be an enigmatic and thought-provoking subject that challenges our understanding of memory and perception. Whether attributed to cognitive biases, shared cultural influences, or the exploration of parallel dimensions, the phenomenon serves as a reminder that our memories, though vivid and convincing, are not infallible. As we continue to unravel the mysteries behind the Mandela Effect, it reminds us of the complexity of human cognition, and the fascinating ways in which our minds construct and reconstruct our past. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the intriguing world of the Mandela Effect. If you've had similar experiences or have any thoughts on the matter, share them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-bending content. Until next time, stay curious.